There is a danger of one becoming a cafeteria Christian who shops around for those things that in some way resonate with his philosophy and his thinking. Dear brothers and sisters, Matthew the Evangelist is known for his sharp contrast like the merciful master and unmerciful servant, the sheep and goats, and the foolish and wise virgins. Often, the contrast is between good and evil. In today's Gospel, the contrast appears to be between the different aspects of the kingdom expressed in the contrasting lifestyles of John the Baptist and Jesus. Some rejected John the Baptist because he was too stringent and ascetic. He was a desert prophet and he preferred to live in isolation, preferred to live away from the people. Therefore, many people had the view that he is possessed by a demon. On the other hand, Jesus was a people's person. He lived among them and shared the good news with them. He joined with the tax collectors and ordinary people during all of their celebrations. And in those moments, he taught them about the kingdom of God. Many who accepted Jesus had a personal transformation. The teachings of Jesus had an effect on their life. Yet, some glared at him with a critical eye. Many rejected Jesus because he was too friendly and joyful and he appeared too ordinary. In effect, neither Jesus nor John meets the demands or their expectations of the Messiah. So, they rejected them as well as the message they preached. They found some flimsy reason not to see the truth of their preaching and the truth depicted by their lives and the values of the kingdom they represented. This is often what happens to the truth. It is rejected for insufficient and often for flimsy reasons. They rejected the gift that God wanted to give them simply because the wrapping of the gift did not suit their preferences. There is always the danger of accepting a lie or accepting a falsehood just because it suits my preferences and rejecting the truth because it does not agree with my personal philosophy. There is a danger of one becoming a cafeteria Christian who shops around for those things that in some way resonate with his philosophy and his thinking. Those who accepted Jesus and his message in its totality, irrespective of their personal preferences, had a transforming experience. They experienced liberation as they experienced the Messiah. Let us ask a very personal question. Do I accept Jesus and his message in its entirety or just pick and choose the parts that suit me? During the remaining days of Advent, let us take the time to answer this vital question. And above all, let us ask the Lord to give us the wisdom, give us the courage to accept his message in its totality irrespective of our personal philosophy and irrespective of our personal preferences. Amen.